Thirty minutes late. Yes. Weather a little thick over the mountain. Better late than never. Can you tell me if Mr. Frank Chandler is aboard? I was to meet him, but if I miss connections, I shall not wait. Frank Chandler? Yes, Chandler's aboard. I thank you. You're welcome. Your Highness, I am delighted. How are you? Your, your Highness. <laughs> I, I, I guess I've never met a real princess before. Oh, please. I wish everybody here in America would forget that I am a princess. Well, just as you say. Nevertheless, you're every inch a princess. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Regent, I suppose you're very excited over Chandler's homecoming? I certainly am. He was delayed in Chicago, you know, but we're expecting him by plane tonight. Yes, we are also anxious. Uh, you know my children, Betty and Bob. Well, you remember Mr. and Mrs. James. Oh, yes. yes, how do you do? How do you do, my dears? What adorable children, Dorothy. I think so. <laughs> my, how they've grown. Oh, <laughs> shall we both? I'll see you later. Very well, Dorothy. Without him, I do not feel safe. Even here. Nonsense, my dear. Remember, you're in California now, not Egypt. Nothing can harm you here. Of course not, Najee. Don't get jittery now. Just put the soft pedal on that Chandu stuff. Uncle Frank refers to be known as just plain Mr. Chandler here in California. Oh, I'm sorry. But you know, to me, she's always Chandu. Oh, forget it. Come on, Betty. Let's have a dance. What do you say? Welcome to our city. Judy, hello. Oh, please, please. Oh, Bob, you're just in time to dance with me. Your brothers are mostly fine dancers. Well, I'm sorry, Judy. I uh, just promised to dance to Betty. Going to dance with your own sister? Why, that's positively simple. You won't mind, will you, darling, if I take it away from you? Mr. Regent. Uh, yes, I'm from the Daily Star. Can you give me some information about the Princess Najee? Oh, I'd be delighted. Uh, pardon me, Judy. Let's go right over here. Fine. Oh, I think that's positively fiendish. I still feel uneasy. I wish Andrew would come. Now, my dear, I want you to relax and enjoy yourself. I am Dr. Vada, and this is Mr. Sutra. We are friends of Mr. Chandler, but haven't the honor of Mrs. Regent's acquaintance. Chandler has not returned from the East yet, sir. Mrs. Regent is receiving. Thank you. Why, Nadi, what is it? A terrible danger has just entered this house. Shandu is aboard the transcontinental plane, then, and my men will receive him at the airport. to do my bidding? Yes, Master. Swear then by the sacred symbol of Ubasti. I swear. It is well. Do not announce us to Mrs. Regent. That'll make a great story for the Sunday papers. Did the princess happen to come to America for any particular reason? Well, they did try to kidnap her in Egypt. She's very wealthy, you know. But uh, don't play it up in the paper. It might not be safe for her out here. It's a cinch it wouldn't be. Now, one more question. Is there any truth in the story that your uncle has some sort of magic power and is known in the East as Shandu, the magician? <laughs> well, my uncle was born in the Orient. In fact, he spent most of his life there. So you don't believe in magic, do you? Well, my well, uncle has studied these Eastern tricks and just happens to do a few of them now and then, that's all. But uh, don't play out of either. Mom? Yes? I've been looking all over for you. Pardon me, interruption. Certainly. Mother wants you in the library at once. Oh, uh, you excuse us? You bet. Thanks for the dope. Sorry. Right. What 
saw the row, Mother. Najee feels some terrible danger has just entered the house. Oh, come on now, Najee. This isn't Egypt, you know. I thought we left all that stuff behind with the mummies. It is real, Bob. You know he was in Egypt. Najee. Oh, we can do it only here. Well, he will be here very soon, dear. We can't take this warning lightly, Bob. You don't have to tell me that after what's happened before. I think I'll go and have a look around the ballroom. What good would that do? The dozens of Uncle Frank's friends here whom you've never seen. Gee, that's right. I know what I'll do. I will get the admission cards from the doorman. We may learn something from them. That's a good idea. Hurry. Oh, Bob. Yes? Why don't you go to dance with me now? Well, I've got to do something for Mother. I'm awfully sorry, Judy. I'll have to... I do believe you don't want to dance with me. Oh, Judy, dear. Whatever gave you that idea? When the princess enters the ballroom, be ready to give her a glass of wine. At my signal. And when they call a physician, remember that I am Dr. Varro. I understand, Master. Take this. Find a booth right back there, sir. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. James Thomas? R. S. T. Okay. Everything's all right so far. <laughs> Vara. Dr. Vara. That's a funny name. How about him, Betty? Hello. Oh, hello, Frank. Can you? Uh, yes. Yes, she's all right. But come at once. Let me speak to him. Can do. I feel danger. Come quickly. Oh, I'll be there in, in five minutes. Meanwhile, try not to be alone. Stay in the ballroom with the guests. All right. All right. Now don't worry. Just do as I say. Goodbye. Be ready. He must have hit it up from the airport after that plane landed. That's more than an hour's drive. But I guess he had more than one reason to hurry. Bob. Well, gee, Mom, we all know how Uncle Frank feels about Najee. The trouble is, none of us know how she feels about him. <laughs> it isn't any of your business, Smarty. Chandu's my very good friend, Bob. But that is all. It would be dangerous for Chandu to be anything more to me. He runs a great risk as it is in just being my friend. Well, my dear, your troubles and your fears are all over now. Say, Mom, it's about time we're getting in to see our guests. I think so, too. <laughs> Princess Najee. 
May she live long and happily. And now a toast from our Highness. My friend, I want to tell you all how glad I am to be here in America among you. And in return, I offer health and happiness to you all. Back. Sorry, my oh. daughter. Gee, Uncle Frank, we're glad to see you. Hello, Bob. Chandu, skipped at the airport. I cannot understand it. Sutra. Pop, get the party going. Stop him, Dad. Sure, let's go dance, Eddie. Come on. Had an accident? Yes. The glass seemed to fly right out of my hand. Nonsense. You must have touched it. Nito. One moment, please. Who has captured the mind of the servant? Nito, you will go to the library and wait for me there. Do you understand? Yes. You must stop it. Come, I will explain everything to you. Naji, I don't want to frighten you. But I have learned the reasons for these attempts to kidnap you. What is it, Frank? Naji, have you ever heard of the sect of Upasti? Upasti? Of the Lemurians? Yes, of the lost continent. The birthplace of black magic. What does it all mean, Frank? Recently, the perfectly preserved body of Osana, the last high priestess of Upasti, was recovered from the sea. These people believe that they can bring their priestess back to life by a human sacrifice. Oh, what a perfectly terrible belief. The sacrifice must be an Egyptian princess of royal blood. Naji is the only living Egyptian princess. And the Ubasti will stop at nothing. Oh. An old legend prophesies the return of the lost continent in all its glory when Osana lives again. And they have chosen Naji. Oh. I had to tell you, Naji. But have no fear. We have faced dangers before, have we not? We will do it again. It's better to know the reason so that we may fight it out. Don't be afraid, my dear. I'm going now to question Ito. We may learn a great deal from him. You will answer my questions fully and truthfully. I command. Yes, sir. By whose order did you give the drugged wine to the princess tonight? By the order of the high priest, Vinjan. Vinjan? He was in this house tonight? Yes, sir. Sect of Ubasti has members in America? There is a meeting place not far from this house. Here in California? Where is this meeting place? I command you to speak. Speak. Where is the meeting place? There is an old house. A dead tree. A dead tree? Where is this house? How is it reached? Speak, I command you. It is reached by the road. From the canyon. And... Ooh. <clears throat> 